Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we are going to revisit a very old tutorial I did, I think four, four and a half years ago, when I was using DivVinci Resolve 16 and it was a tutorial about making scene extensions, making your worlds look different than what they are in reality. And that's what I do like about filmmaking, making something appear way bigger or different than it actually is. And since I did that tutorial, oh, have the world changed using artificial intelligence or AI. And in this case, we are going to try to recreate the same shot I did back then. It's not going to look exactly the same because, well, the way I did it in the old video, I was using photos and now we're going to use AI to generate what I need. But more or less the similar shot. And I'm going to reshoot everything and redo everything. So that's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And of course you can create this effect without using artificial intelligence. You just have to be very aware with the photos you are using that the shadows are on the right side of your light because otherwise this is going to look very fake. Um, so, and that's the good thing about the artificial intelligence, the way we are doing it in Photoshop. It's actually going to read your photo and figure out where the light source is. And in that case, it's also going to create the shadows and it's going to make it way easier to blend everything together. But that is enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video and I'll show you how you can do a scene extensions using artificial intelligence and DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop. So let's just get right to it. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we have our little clip here. And what we need to do as the first thing is to actually just export this out as a still frame. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that it's a pretty good idea to do a color grade of your footage before exporting the frame. And I actually did that. I just gave this a little bit grade if you take a look at this. But the way we do this in DaVinci Resolve is we'll go up here, we'll go into File and we'll just go into Export and uh, we're going to export current frame as a still image and then we're just going to open the photo up in photoshop okay so here we are in the photoshop beta and uh, we're just going to go up and take like we can take the lasso tool or something like that and we can then just draw in what we want to change and i want to change all of this into uh, uh, mountains and horizon and we're just going to generate and let's see what it comes up with something like that. And then we can, of course, go in between here and have a look at the, the different ones and what we like. I think, um, I think I like this one, but we, we are just going to generate just a little more. So let's see what it comes up with. So we're going to take a, another three selections and see what we come up with. Oh, I kind of like pretty good actually. So I think I would like uh, to choose this. Um, it's hard. They're pretty good. This one, I think I want to choose this one. Okay. So we're going to take that and then let's, uh, I want here, I want to have a three or something. So I'm just going to make a selection again and I'm going old tree and we're going to generate. Again, we have some selections, so we can put in some selections. Actually, I think the first one was pretty good. Something like that, like an old tree here. I also want to add in, let's say, I want to add in around here. This space here, I want to add in grass. And we are just going to generate that and see what it comes up with. Okay, we we'll go to the different ones. It doesn't change that much, but uh, let's put this one in here. Uh, and then I want to add something over at the, this corner as well. So let's say I'm, I'm going to add in something here, a stone. We're just going to add in a big rock or a stone here. 
maybe that will be cool. Let's have a look at that. And we have six different ones. Oh, they're pretty cool, all of them, but I think I would go with this one. Maybe this one? Nah, I'll go with this one here. Okay, let's add in what we had on the other one. We had like here, I want some mushrooms. So let's see if we have some cool ones. I think that was a little fun. Okay, we're going to go with this one, add in something here. I want to add in here a, I want to have a um, backpack because obviously I am traveling the world and I need to have my backpack here. So here we have a backpack and I'm going to look at the different ones. I think actually I like, this one so so now i have a backpack i have mushrooms and a tree and a nice skyline but of course i would love to add in something more perhaps i would uh, just add in a so i'm just going to write cup and now we have six options to put in i think uh, maybe that one is actually better so i'm going to choose this one so now we have actually generated a completely different scene. Actually, it's kind of missing something here. Perhaps I just want to have a little thing here as well. Let's have it like, a, like an, an old tree here. Okay, so we're going to keep this as our photo here. So now we have generated a new image and we're just going to export this out of Photoshop and open that up in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are back in DaVinci Resolve and I have my footage here and I'm going to put that on the video track one. And I'm just going to make it fit for the clip here. And then I'm just going to select my top clip here and I'll go up to the inspector and then I'll just go down to the composite mode and I'm just going to put down the opacity quite a bit something like that here. And then I'll simply just jump into the color page and go into here. And I'm going to select just a, a curved mask. And, you know, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to make a pretty little selection here around my subject here, which is just me sitting here. And that's basically what I'm going to do for now. And then I'm going to right click here and I'm going to add in an alpha output, which is this blue one here. And then I'm just going to connect that with this line here. And now we should be all good to go. So if we come back here to the edit page, we can now see that I am sitting here in a new place, having fun looking at the scenery. Uh, and that's a super easy way to make this effect, actually. So we can, of course, add in a little more because why not? So I'll go up to the effects and in the effects, I'll go up and I'm just going to take a adjustment clip and I'm going to put that on top of everything. And, you know, I'm just going to make it fit the clip. And basically, I'm just going to do a very simple zoom and I can do that by selecting the adjustment clip, going to the inspector. And I'm just going to push this diamond icon up here in transform. And that's going to put in a keyframe. And then I can just go here to the end of my clip. And at that time, I want to be zoomed in something like this. And I want this to be something like that. So now we have this little zoom where we are moving in just like that, which is kind of cool. It's a little different than the old tutorial, but anyway, we could just add in a super simple little thing. If we go back here to the, and it is just a super little thing actually. So if we go back here to the, to the, uh, the picture we have right here, I'm going to add in a new note here you can do that by Alt S or you can just right click here and then just add in a note and then add a new serial note. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to search for fast noise. So I'm going to put in a fast noise here at the JPEG here. And uh, of course, this is a little 
too big here and I'm also going to change stuff around here in the uh, in the presets here I'm just going to make this like smoke and of course this is really really big right now so we are going to do something like that and mess around with the contrast it is a very small thing we can do here so if we just go in and take a mask I'm just going to actually just going to do something like this I just want some coffee coming up here and then I am just going to go into the mask here and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to toggle off this so we can see what we're doing and I am going to soften this quite a bit and also going to mess around with the inside and the outside of the mask something like that and then we can of course see that this is moving and it's way too crazy so we are going to scale this down a bit and also we are going to go into the saturation here and just changing it that a little Missing around again with the contrast here. Something like that. And the evolution here, we are also going to make that a little different so it's not so alive. Little and also the details, we can do that a little like that. Something like that. And it's again, it is a super small thing. And last but not least, if we want to, we can go back to the beginning here and we can also change the way that the smoke is moving so that is a pretty cool shot done very fast one thing of course to do remember to do is to go back to the video layer you did and go over to the inspector and turn up the opacity back to 100 so it's going to cover up the image of you in the mask so now you have a pretty nice little effect very subtle i think anyway i do hope you found this little video useful if you did please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing